Hi, I am Dr. Naveen Tahsilda. I am spine surgeon working at Narayana Orthopedic Spine and Trauma Care Center. Today we are going to talk about um, spinal tumors, the tumors that develop in the spine. These can be under two groups. Either they can be primary tumors, which means that the tumor is arising in the spine itself, or they, or they can be secondary tumors. That means the tumor is somewhere else, but it has spread to the spine. Now, the most common uh, uh, spinal tumors are actually the secondary tumors. That is tumors developing somewhere else, uh, which come and land seed into the spine. These are called as metastatic spinal tumors. And mostly these are seen in older individuals more than 60 years. And whenever we have a spinal metastasis, we are looking at a couple of things. You look at the survival rate. Now that's very important because some of the tumors, the primary tumors which have spread to the spine are slow growing tumors. And these tumors, because they are slow growing tumors, can be cured. You can have a curative surgery for the primary tumor itself and you can do a curative surgery for the metastasis. If it is a single or at the most two uh, metastases, they can be completely removed. The tumor bone can be completely removed, which we call as N block spondylectomy. It is basically a curative surgery and there are good 10 year or uh, 5 year survival rates with these kind of surgeries. And if we find that the, it is a uh, widespread tumor, then surgery may be indicated as a palliative measure. Sometimes these tumors can come with neurological problems. They come with weakness because of the collapse of the bone because of the tumor. We can do a surgery to stabilize the spine, decompress the cord, which gives a good quality of life as long as the patient is going through the rest of the treatment as long as they, as they live. And um, this becomes a palliative reason or sometimes we do a surgery to relieve the pain, uh, especially if it's a, a big destruction of the tumor in the spine. Now coming to the uh, primary tumors, most of the primary tum tumors are very rare. And whenever we have primary tumors in the spine, if they are detected early on, we can give a good result by resecting the tumor completely, which again means we do an end block spondylectomy. These procedures in the present era are completely safe with neuromonitoring and with microscope facilities and we also have some latest measures which can take care of the tumor and prevent the recurrence in these tumors.